Well, hello and good afternoon, and welcome to the session on advanced integration with Sales and Marketing Cloud. My name's Elliot Harper. I'm a Salesforce MVP, a Marketing Cloud consultant and trainer. I'm also author of Journey Builder Developer's Guide, and just about to publish my next book on AmScript, which I'm co-authoring with Salesforce MVP and self-confessed AmScript nerd, Adam Spriggs. Uh, so you can go and uh, pre-order this book in a few weeks. In the meantime, you can go to amscript.guide, and we'll let you know when the book's available. So let's get on with the presentation. Uh, firstly, I just want to give an overview of Marketing Cloud Connect and explain what it is and what it does. Marketing Cloud Connect is a managed package for sales cloud. It includes 18 custom objects uh, that enable you to interact with the data management, segmentation, and campaign management features in sales cloud. It has a range of features, including the ability to configure triggered emails, so when a record is added or updated to an object in Sales Cloud, it can cause an email to be triggered for Marketing Cloud. You can go and send emails and SMS messages directly from Sales Cloud. There are a number of AmScript functions available for Sales Cloud, so AmScript is a scripting language in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And with these Salesforce functions, you can retrieve records from Salesforce custom objects and standard objects. You can uh, update records, even create new ones, along with some other functions too. There are a couple of uh, options for importing records from objects uh, and also reports into data extensions in Marketing Cloud. And also integrates with Journey Builder. So Journey Builder is a customer journey management platform in Marketing Cloud. And uh, these Salesforce activities enable you to perform a range of features while also providing uh, entry sources so you can use data from Sales Cloud objects in your journey. And also there's an unsubscribe workflow. So if a, a contact or lead unsubscribes in Sales Cloud, then there's an integration which goes and updates that subscriber record in a Marketing Cloud. But what I want to do uh, this afternoon is really go from zero to hero and show you just one scenario where you can start to leverage the power of Marketing Cloud Connect. And what we're going to do is um, be inviting contacts uh, to a, uh, an upcoming event that's going to be held next week. And so I'm going to do that by creating a campaign and adding those contacts as campaign members. And when they do, they're going to receive an email. And that email is going to contain a link to uh, an RSVP page. And when they visit that link, it's actually a cloud page. It's going to be personalized. We'll retrieve um, data on the fly from the contact record. And uh, when they go and RSVP to the event, then we're going to update the campaign member record status field. So, look, I have a lot to cover. I have very little time, like only five minutes. So I, um, I'm going to need some help. And at this time, I'd like all to put your hands together and welcome my very special guest and trusty steed, Lightning! Come on, Lightning. There you go. Hey. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's, it, that's not a horse. It's, actually, uh, it's just a guy with a latex mask on. But actually, you need to be very sensitive because actually, it's a horse trapped in a man's body. So anyway, so Lightning is, um, is a real expert in sales cloud and marketing cloud. In fact, he is no less than 18 Salesforce certifications. Um, oh, no. So OK. OK. Thanks for correcting me. Um, 20 Salesforce certifications. That's right. And uh, so, are you, uh, are you ready, Lightning? OK, well, let's get on with the show. So um, what we firstly want to do is um, we're going to go and set up some objects in uh, using Marketing Cloud Connect. So specifically, we want to go and define which objects that we're going to be using in our triggered send. So in this case, it's the campaign member object. So, do you want to go in there, uh, Lightning? Thanks. So go to the home screen and go down to Marketing Cloud. And then um, we'll just go and click on the, wait for the page to load, uh, Marketing Cloud Connector. And we want to go and edit the page. So click Edit Settings, please. And if you scroll down to Triggered Send, you see that all the standard objects and custom objects, we're going to, go, going to select the campaign member and click Save Settings. And um, that's all saved. Fantastic. And so 
um, that's now ready to use. So the next step is to go and create a trigger. So we're going to create a trigger against the campaign member object. So aligning, if you can just go to um, uh, the object manager, that's right. And we're going to search for campaign member. Let's go and find the campaign member object. There it is in the middle. So just go and select that for me. Thank you. Go down to triggers. And now we're going to click New. Um, and we're going to go and create a new trigger. Here's a trigger template. We're going to start by giving it a name. It could be any name. Uh, trigger campaign uh, member. That's a good one. And then on the event, so say after they've been inserted uh, as a record or um, after update as well. And uh, here we're going to add our class. So we define the namespace first, so the managed package. And then the, uh, the class, which is trigger utility, and the function automate, which accepts one argument of the uh, campaign object, in this case, campaign member. I click Save. And then that, that's uh, done, all ready to go. Now, we're just using a dev org. So obviously, if you're using a production org, you'd need to go and create a test class as well. Um, but now that's done, we're ready to set up our triggered send definition. So if you just uh, go across to email sends, fantastic. And we're going to go and select the, uh, yeah, click new and triggered sends. OK, and we're going to give the triggered send a name. So maybe uh, connect camp invitation um, and go and uh, we're going to look up the contact record. You can obviously specify criteria we're not going to in this case. When a new record is created, we'll need to get select a send classification. Oh, select an email, thanks. Uh, uh, thanks, Lightning. So s open, um, I think there's a Camp Connect folder there. It is an invitation email. So these are invitations in Email Studio in Marketing Cloud. So we'll just go and select that. Now we select the send classification. Now, optionally, we can select a data extension, uh, specifically a triggered send data extension. And when we do that, when that trigger is invoked, uh, uh, data from the trigger will be serialized into that data extension. So by default, you have a subscriber key and email address field in that triggered send data extension. But, um, and the subscriber key will be the lead or contact ID and the corresponding email address. Um, but there's some additional optional fields that you in can include. And specifically, we want to capture that uh, record ID of the campaign member um, because we're going to be using it to update the RSVP status on the cloud page. So let's jump into data extensions and go and do that. Just uh, click Create, and we'll create a standard data extension based on an existing template. And that is the Triggered Send Data Extension template. Click OK. We're going to go and give it a name, maybe something like Camp Connect, Triggered Emails, maybe. Um, and go and uh, select Camp Connect optional. We're going to select the campaign. And here you can see the default field. So we've got subscriber key and email address, those two ones I mentioned before. Um, so Lightning is adding uh, three more. We've got. Um, S4 ID record INS object. So specifically, the one I'm interested in is record ID. So that's going to be the ID of the campaign member, um, or the ID of the uh, object that's, that's used, in this case, the campaign member. And uh, you know, optionally, we can also include the object name and uh, org ID. So now that's done, if you just want to click OK and jump back to uh, the triggered send. And so that data extension should now be available on the menu. The, oh, hang on, what's it? Message from Duchess. Hi, can you pick up some hay? I'm hungry. Oh, honestly, uh, I told you we should have used my computer for this. So um, never mind. So just scroll down um, and go and click, uh, yeah, I certify all these people have opted in and click Save. Fantastic. So uh, and when we, when we do and click Save, it should open, fantastic, it's opened up the, um, this page. The final step is to go and activate it. So once that triggered send definition is activated, there it is. It's going to be available uh, and, uh, and listening for that event. Uh, so let's go and select an existing contact, and we want to go and add them as a campaign member to an existing campaign. So uh, here's Simon Sausage, our, our contact. We're going to add him to a campaign. We've only got one camp connect and click Submit. And just wait. And fantastic, it's added. And um, because I've added, that would have invoked the trigger to go and send Simon Sausage um, an email. 
And so we can see this, or hopefully see this, in uh, Email Studio. So from the Interactions page, here we are. You can see that there's Camp Connect invitation. So that's a triggered send that's been created by the triggered send definition through Marketing Cloud Connect. And uh, we can see that um, it's already gone and sent one email. So let's jump across to my email. And here we can see the email that uh, Simon's received. If you scroll down, it sees the details about the event. But we want to go and click on Register Now. And when I click that, it's going to send us to use an encrypted query string to go and uh, load a landing page, which is hosted in Cloud Pages in Marketing Cloud. And this is personalized with the recipient's first name and last name and a profile image, which is retrieved on the fly from a contact object. Um, in this case, Simon uh, wants to confirm, so click Yes, I'll be there. And that's actually using AmScript on the back end to go and update the campaign member status field to responded. Uh, so thanks for registering. Now let's go and take a look at how I created that uh, email and cloud page. So let's go to Edit Content in Email Studio. And I've just got one AmScript line in this uh, uh, HTML email. So if you scroll down to the Register Now button, and you'll see that there's an inline AMP script. I'm using uh, this Cloud Pages URL feature so, uh, or function. So the Cloud Pages URL AMP script function accepts at a minimum one parameter, and that is the ID of the landing page that we used in Cloud Pages. But I'm also passing uh, across a, another name value pair. And this is going to be included in the encrypted query string to the, the landing page specifically the record ID, and I'm using this nested AMP script function called attribute value, which incidentally is the name of my company. I know it's pretty sad naming your company after an AMP script function, but uh, uh, there you go. Anyway, so we're going to take um, the record ID. So that is the, the value. Remember we created that uh, field called record ID in the triggered send data extension? So it's going to take that value in the context of the send and serialize that and pass that as a, uh, as a query parameter um, in the URL. So um, that's all done. So let's, um, let's take a look at the landing page now. So if you edit content, and uh, you notice I've got some AMP script code up the top of the page. So firstly, we're going uh, retrieving the first name, uh, last name, and a custom field or profile image from the contact record. And then th if you highlight that, thanks. And then we go and uh, get the row set and set them as variables, which we're using in a minute. And then uh, we've got some function here to go and update the campaign member when they submit the form. But what I really want to show you, if you scroll down the page, and uh, I've got uh, three inline AMP script um, uh, functions here. So we've got um, profile image, first name, and last name. And that is I'm printing out the, uh, the profile image variable, which is retrieved from that row set, the first name and the last name from the contact object. So when the page loads, it's going to go and get the use, um, in this case, the, the, the record ID. Um, no, in fact, sorry, the subscriber ID, um, just using the system data personalization string underscore subscriber key. Uh, to go and retrieve that value and personalize it on the page. So um, that really kind of sums up uh, the whole workflow. So just to recap then, so we've got, um, uh, firstly, uh, what we did, we enabled the object for triggered send in the Marketing Cloud Settings page, uh, and that's important prerequisite. Um, then we went and created a trigger. And uh, again, if you're using it in production, you need to create a test class too. Then after that, we went and set up our triggered send data extension. So when a new record is created it, uh, for a campaign member, it's going to send them an email. We added the contact record to a, uh, a campaign as a campaign member, which triggered that email to be sent to the subscriber with a landing page. And that landing page was personalized with details from the contact record um, by looking up using the tree Salesforce AMP script function to, to look up the record. And when the, um, the contact submitted that form, it uses an update single Salesforce object AMP script function to go and update the status field of the campaign member record. Before we um, just finish off, I just want to share one other tip, uh, and that's a, a useful logging feature with uh, Marketing Cloud Connect. So this is helpful for debugging, as you can uh, inspect the raw uh, request and response payloads made by the Marketing Cloud and Sales Cloud APIs. 
And so uh, you may remember that, that first page, the settings page. On that page, there's an option to go and uh, enable logging. And when you enable that option, it uh, enables logging for 60 minutes. And it will switch off logging automatically after 60 minutes. But then all those responses are captured. Um, and let's take a look at where to find them. So you're going to actually need to go to Classic, um, uh, Salesforce Classic to see this. And we're going to open up the Documents tab. So we click on the plus icon. And let's go and find Documents. In this case, it's bottom left. There it is. Down the bottom, scroll down there and select that. And then on this page, you'll see that there's a Marketing Cloud Documents folder, which you can select. And, so, and when you click Go, it's going to show you all the logs that have been captured since logging has been enabled. So in this case, let's actually select the last one. If you view that. Thanks, Lightning. Um, so if you scroll down, and uh, you see yeah, that, that's the, uh, the, the raw payload request, which is actually very helpful from a debugging perspective. So uh, top tip there. Well, um, thank you. That concludes my session. Please feel free to um, follow me on Twitter. And uh, if you missed any of this, um, it's going to be available tomorrow on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Elliot Harper, where you can also see other videos on best practices in Salesforce Marketing Cloud as part of my best practice series. Um, so here you go. Uh, so go and check out those videos, although you probably don't want to watch them all at the same time. Um, and uh, well, thanks for coming. And of course, thank you, uh, my trusty Steve Lightning, and enjoy the rest of Dreamforce. <laughs>